My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. Knowing the word of God. You know, Hosea said something. If we follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. He says that then shall we know. And what are we going to know? He said, if we follow on to know the Lord. So it is possible to know the Lord. But you must follow on. It's not a one-time Bible study. It's not a one-time coming to church. It's not just a five-minute prayer. It says that we will know if we follow on, if we continually. That is why you don't stop coming to church. After you came one head, one scripture, and you keep saying it and say, I know God. He said that if we follow on to know him, we shall know him and he said that he is going forth is prepared as a morning in other words he's, he must visit it is a sure banker God will visit if his people follow on to know him it is possible to know God right on earth I've been saying this and I mean it that one of my biggest disappointments will be when I get to heaven and I'm surprised about everything. That means that for my stay on earth, I never pursued to know God. If I get to heaven and I am so shocked of everything that will be shown me, that means that I never followed on on earth to want to know him. He says that when you pray, pray that your will will be done exactly as it is in heaven that means that there is a possibility to know exactly things that are done in heaven it's possible for a mortal man on earth to know and he said when you follow on you will know the Lord if you will follow on if you know it will not be reading one chapter of the Bible a week he said if you follow on he shall visit you like the latter rain and the former rain in other words there will be constant visitation from the lord if you will follow on in john chapter 14 verse 21 he says that they that keep my commandment are they that love me and he said that he that loves me the father will love him and i will make him my abode and i will manifest myself there is a secret to encountering Jesus right on earth. And that secret is following on to know him through his word. He says that if you will keep the word in your heart, if you will discard the knowledge of football, discard the knowledge of telenovelas, discard the knowledge of gossips, discard every knowledge and follow on to want to know Jesus. He said, I will manifest myself if somebody comes to you and tell you that I have been having an unusual encounter with Jesus, don't doubt the word of God has said it. They that fall on to want to know. No wonder Apostle Paul, after writing all the epistles, would come out and say that I may know him. I want to know him. And for three years, Listen, look at how he ushered the church of Ephesus to begin to know Jesus. The Bible said that for three years, day and night, day and night, for three years, he taught them the word. Day and night, for three years. 
to tell somebody to come to church continuously for three years that will be the biggest insult you will ever receive but for three years day and night apostle paul was with the Ephesian church because he understood when he himself had an encounter the bible says that he went to arabia for three years he was there studying studying the word suddenly light flood in his spirit and that was how he became a transgenerational apostle it's possible to have encounters with god and the secret is if you know the word of god if you follow on to know him through his word if you rise up monday morning and all you are looking for is to want to know him and to know him through his word he said it's possible it's possible to have divine encounters it is possible to have visitations it is possible this time when you preach for even one hour people begin to shake be fast and let us go that be fast and let us go spiritually the meaning is that i never want to encounter jesus that's what it means and after three years the bible said that miracles broke out in the church of ephesus and in the city of ephesus to a point that handkerchiefs and aprons were casting out devils why because a people decided that for three years day and night we want to know the word of god this time when you preach for even one hour people begin to shake be fast and let us go that be fast and let us go spiritually the meaning is that i never want to encounter jesus that's what it means psalm 119 verse 18 open thou my eyes that i may behold the wondrous things of the lord this was the prayer of a man called david if i was in his time i don't think i would have prayed that prayer when everybody thought that the law was only full of feasts and sacrifices all they saw was priesthood lineage the waiver offerings the grain offerings that is all they knew and his generation were pursuing the law of moses according to the sight they would do ceremonies do feasts make sacrifices oblations do other stuff and that is all they, th they thought the law was about but a prophetic man went on in this and said lord open my eyes there are wondrous things in the law the law is not just about killing animals there are things in it open my eyes and let me see when people think it's just a shadow lord open down my eyes and this is what distinguished the man in his generation the hebrew word for wondrous things there means pala pala means that give me the hidden things of the law that means that the law is not just there there are things that have been hidden from the eyes of the people that read the law and he says show me show me the distinguished things of the law and the man comes out and suddenly he is able tell pick words from eternity in psalm 22 and begin to tell my father my father why have you forsaken me these words were prepared and hidden and to be released in the mouth of jesus on the cross but a man who prayed the prayer that lord let me see that man was able to have access to hidden words 